One story is that if you drive your car out to the middle of the bridge and then turn off all the lights, the couple will appear in your car just sitting behind you. When what? you turn around, they'll be gone, leaving a wet seat behind. Oh my god, oh my, my friends, this video is crazy. You guys have so many scary urban legends in America. Are you guys aware of any of this? Actually, you know what? Probably this video is missing a lot of famous one. Tell me in the comments uh, a couple, even though I'm a bit scared. I have to be honest, but this is interesting. Uh, leave a like if you enjoy this type of video. Let's continue. Top 10 Scary America Urban Legends. My friends, this should be a really interesting one. You guys end up suggesting this video a lot of times. I believe it's kind of a scary one, but uh, before I go into that, uh, let me ask you for one thing. If you can leave a like, uh, thank you so much. It's the best way to show support. Uh, now, if you can subscribe, <laughs> well, in that case, uh, forget about it. Uh, you make my day. Have that in consideration. Uh, link for the original video in my description. Uh, and uh, let we're back with another Urban Legends video. We've done a few of these now and the response has been pretty amazing. You guys seem to want to hear more and more creepy Urban Legends from every single country around the world. If that's the case, let me know which country you want to hear about next, but for now... Portugal. We're talking about a little country that you may have heard of before, the United States of America. My name is Danny Burke. And Such this an is amazing the top country. 10 scary American urban legends. Just you know what? I feel like this will be a crazy top 10 because uh, uh, I bet there is a lot of urban legends in uh, all states. You, you know what I mean? Whew. Big expectations. Let's see it. America. My name is Danny Burke and this is the top 10 scary American urban <laughs> legends. Starting off at number 10 now we have The Grunch. This one comes from the Louisiana. Grinch. In the early days of New Orleans there was a road called Grunch Road that went deep into the swampy woods before coming to a dead end. That is where the Grunch people lived. A strange hybrid of albinos and dwarves forced away from society and made to live in their own community. As the years went by people started to Wait, This is Louisiana? out the story's authenticity, but it sparked up again when people started disappearing down Grunch Road. Nearby farmers reported their animals missing or finding them dead and drained of blood. Many locals now refuse to head down Grunch Road for fear of meeting the same fate. Moving on to number nine now, we have Stull Cemetery. To those that know the story, Stull Cemetery in Kansas is better known as the doorway to hell. Legend says that the devil okay. himself chose the cemetery as his entrance from the underworld to our own. Now it's said that a tree once stood in a cemetery and the old tombstone there was inscribed with the word witch. The tree was used to hang condemned witches back in the day who were put to death by the locals. The tombstone apparently marks the burial spot of Satan's own child, a creature born deformed and covered in wolf hair. In modern times the Wait, but it was born in Kansas, the Satan own child? legend has continued with reports of the ground catching fire in random spots. Pope John Paul II was said to divert his private plane around the cemetery because it was so tainted by evil. Now whether or not you believe all of that, there's plenty of videos on YouTube to check out if you're interested and I find them quite creepy. Moving on to number 8 now, we have Knock Knock Road. This one is for all of you guys watching and get very creeped out by little girl ghosts. I think they're the worst kind of ghosts. Strasbourg Road near Detroit has a disturbing tale of murder attached to it. Legend says that a a little girl was killed on the road. Uh, Detroit is Michigan, right, my friend? Road in the 1940s by a hit and run driver. Ever since then, people have reported the same story. They stop at a traffic light and see on the side of the road a young girl standing, just standing and staring right into your car. Whether they what? freeze or then try to speak to her, she slowly walks forward to the car and stares at you with deep set hollow eyes. She scans your face to try and find her killer and get her revenge. I guess you better hope you just don't look like the killer. And number seven now. Holy, that's crazy. You know what? Things with little girls, uh, that's scary stuff. You know, uh, the, I don't know why. That, that's so scary. We have the Charman. This story goes that in 1948, Charman. a wildfire swept across Ojaji, California. The flames consumed a cabin where a man lived with his son. He was burned alive, but the son survived. Just barely, though. When the authorities arrived, they found a shocking... I'm going to run this one back, sorry. I need to, I, I, I like to know the state and I feel like I did not understand the state here. 
Charman. This story goes that in 1948, a wildfire swept across Ojaji, California. The Can flames consumed okay. a cabin where a man lived with his son. He was burned alive, but the son survived. Just barely though. When the authorities arrived, they found a shocking scene. The father had been flayed alive. His skin had been removed from his body and peeled off. His body was just hanging from a nearby tree. The police then searched for the perpetrator. They heard a wheezing sound from a nearby bush, and then suddenly the son just bolted out of it. The overpowering smell of him stunned the officers, and in that moment, the boy ran into the trees and then escaped into the hills. In the years since then, many locals have said they've seen the char man in the woods, horribly disfigured by his burns and tormented by his past. He's said to creep up on the tents of innocent campers in the hills, waiting for them to fall asleep. Coming at number you know what's crazy? This one is possible. Right, this this one is possible. Six now we have Oh man. Hell's Gate Bridge. This one comes from Oxford, Alabama. The story goes that in the nineteenth Alabama, Alabama, okay, okay now we have Hell's Gate Bridge. This one comes from Oxford, Alabama. The story goes that in the 1950s, a young couple crashed their car off the side of this bridge and drowned. Now, some locals... To be honest, this bridge does not look good. Locals believe you cross the bridge at your own peril. One story is that if you drive your car out to the middle of the bridge and then turn off all the lights, the couple will appear in your car just sitting behind you. When what? you turn around, they'll be gone, leaving a wet seat behind. Oh my god, oh my, my friends, this video is crazy. You guys have so many scary urban legends in America. Are you guys aware of any of this? Actually, you know what? Probably this video is missing a lot of famous one. Tell me in the comments uh, a couple, even though I'm a bit scared, I have to be honest, but this is interesting. Uh, leave a like if you enjoy this type of videos. Let's continue. The other story is that if you drive over the bridge and then look over your shoulder about halfway through, the scenery behind you turns into a portal to hell, just spouting fire and flames. Now, whether or not you believe all of this, it's enough for some people to just look for a different way to cross the river. Moving on to number five now, we have 100 Steps Cemetery. This is located in the town of Brazil in Indiana. Interesting name for a town. Brazil, Indiana. What? That's amazing and the cemetery is even more interesting. It's been used for at least 150 years and in that time it's gained quite a sinister reputation for a ghostly undertaker. The story goes that as you walk up the many steps to the top of the cemetery you must count each and every step. When you reach the top you must turn towards the open field and then the ghost of the cemetery's first undertaker will appear. Without ah but no one does that. No one, no, who got time for that right my friends? No, 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 no. This one so this one you could avoid. The other ones are a bit more difficult, you know. Imagine if you are in California and you see a crazy man uh, because of the flames all destroyed. You know, you cannot avoid that. You you got caught. But here you can. No, no, no. Who does this? You know, go oh, no. Nah. Open field, and then the ghost of the cemetery's first undertaker will appear. Without saying anything, he will then reveal your own death to you in a vision. Straight away, you must proceed back down the steps and count each one again. If the number is different to the one that you counted on the way up, the vision was true. An added bonus is that if anyone tries to cheat and climb up or down without using the steps, a ghostly. Wait, this story is. This one is completely bananas. My friends, what Indiana? What Indiana is a wild place. Anyone watching from Indiana? My friends, I'm gonna play this one back again because this this one is crazy. You know, look at all the things that uh, you do, and then if I mean if I see if I see a guy all of a sudden appear a ghost, I will believe him. I I don't need to see if the steps are correct or not. Interesting name for a town, and the cemetery is even more interesting. It's been used for at least 150 years, and in that time, okay. it's gained quite a sinister reputation for a ghostly undertaker. The story mm. goes that as you walk up the many steps to the top of the cemetery, you must count each and every step. When you reach the top, you must turn towards the open field, and then the ghost of the cemetery's first undertaker will appear. Without okay, if this happens, that's already confirmation enough. Imagine if you see an undertaker all of a sudden, uh, no saying anything, he will then reveal your own death to you in a vision. Straight away you must proceed back down the steps and count each one again. If the number is different to the one that you counted on the way up, the vision was true. An added bonus is that if anyone tries to cheat and climb up or down without using the steps, a ghostly hand will push them to the ground, leaving a red imprint on their back for days as a mark of the devil. Definitely not a place to go for just a Sunday walk then. Next up at number four now we have the 
Holy sweet potato, this one was the craziest one. Goat man of Pope Lick. I love my job because I get to say sentences like that. This is an old Kentucky urban legend about Kentucky. a hideous being who roams the woods across that state. Those who have seen him... What the hell is this? What is this, my friends? My friend, quick pause on this one. First of all, hope you are enjoying the video. If that's the case, do not forget to leave a like and subscribe. But let me share with you one thing. I have a Patreon community where I put content almost every day. A lot of early assess videos. So if you want to get uh, them, go to my Patreon. Link on my description. And this is, of course, a good way to support the channel. That said, let's continue with this one. And I hope you have fun. Describe the goat man as having dark fur, pale skin, goat legs and twisted horns. Some people say he was an escaped circus freak, others say he was a farmer who tortured goats for Satan. Satan then repaid him by turning him into a tortured goat himself. The goat man is said to hide under the rusty bridge that crosses Pope Lick Creek in Louisville. Legend says he lures people onto the train tracks there and then takes pleasure in them being hit by oncoming trains. Please don't go looking for this one though guys. In 2016 a woman actually fell to her death from the bridge while looking for the goat man. And number three now. What? So people actually died? We have Slaughterhouse Canyon. With a name like that, you know it. Oh, this name is already not that good. It's not going to be a pretty story. During the 1800s gold rush, a family lived in the canyon there in a little wooden shack. Every day was the same. The husband would set off into the mountains to search for gold and food for his family. Then, one day, he just didn't come back. Presumably injured or killed by animals, the mountain, or even other humans. His wife waited for her husband for weeks until the whole family began to starve. Driven mad with the hunger and her children's cries, she put on her wedding dress, picked up a knife, and murdered her children, throwing them in the river and then weeping until starvation killed her too. Legend says that if you visit the canyon today, you can still hear the mother's painful cries. All right, next up number two now. We have yeah, another place to avoid have the Black Angel. This statue looks very creepy as it is. An old, worn, corroded angel staring down over Oakland Cemetery in Iowa City. Her sinister appearance has helped spawn a number of different legends around her. One of them says that a pregnant woman should never walk under her lest they want to lose their unborn child. Another says that if you kiss or perhaps even just touch the statue, you'll be dead within six months. This is the kind of story that scares everyone off. Whether or not you believe in curses, it's just... Why is that stat statue still there? Can we don't can we remove that? Not even worth thinking about. And finally, number one now, we have Cropsey. Many New Yorkers know the story of Cropsey, the boogeyman of Staten Island. Legend says that he was an escaped patient from a mental asylum who went on a murderous Ooh. rampage. He had a hook for a hand, which he would then use to drag children back to the abandoned ruins of Seaview Hospital. Pretty creepy stuff, but here's where it gets really scary. Many parents would tell this story to their kids to scare them into being cautious about strangers, even if they didn't really believe the story themselves. But then, in the 1970s, a real killer called Andre Rand really did start hunting children in a very similar way. Was he using the Cropsey legend as cover? Either way, people now take the legend a lot more seriously. Wow, America, you kind of creepy. You really are kind of creepy. What did you think of all of those? I tried to cover a bunch of different <sighs> states, but America is a pretty big place with many different urban legends. Would you like a part two so we can do more, or shall we just move straight? Actually, there is a part two of this video. My friends, uh, leave me the number two if I should watch that one, because uh, I have a weird uh, thing with these type of videos. Um, I'm going to be honest, I kind of enjoy them. But in the in, in, in other end, no, I don't enjoy it. It's, it's a mix of feelings, you know, you, know, you know what I'm trying to say. But yeah, leave me the number two or the like if you enjoy this type of content, and I, I can do it a bit more. Right on to another country in the world. If so, what country should that be? It's me again. Portugal. Obviously, you just saw me. Thank you again to Dollar Shave Club. Okay, this is the end. Uh, my friends, uh, thank you so much for watching this with me. It really means a lot you guys end up staying until the end. Uh, like I said, if you leave the number two, I also know you end up uh, watching the, the entire video. And that means a lot. Uh, but yeah, see you guys in the next one. Bye, my friends.